In this video, I'm going to show you how you can blacklist words with Streamlabs Cloudbomb. My name is Tree, and I'm extremely supportive of videos. Stream smarter, not harder. But before I begin, I stream every Tuesday and Friday, 8 p.m. Central European time on twitch.tv slash tree. First thing we do is we go to streamlabs.com and log in with our Twitch. If I'm right, you can also do this with YouTube. Then on the left here, we go to Cloudball. It's under the Feature tab. And here we are already at the Mod Tools. We're going to scroll down a little bit until we see Word Protection. Click on Preferences. The first thing here we want to take a look at is the Auto Permit. Auto Permit means that if this group of people you Auto Permit uses these words that you have blacklisted, they still get a permission to use them. What you can do is you can set them on subscribers or regulars and you can set them on subscribers and regulars. I do not recommend doing this. There's a clear reason you blacklist words and that is because you don't want them to be used. So don't let your subscribers or regulars use them either. Then we have use default blacklist. These are already offensive words uh, like the N word and the C word and well, I guess I can go to a whole alphabet like this, but you know what I mean. These standard offensive words are already blacklisted for you if you turn this on. Then underneath here it says send punishment message. If you turn this on, this message underneath here will be sent if somebody uses one of the words on the blacklist. You can customize this uh, by just typing and saving, but you can also just leave it like it is and it will be fine. If you do not want punishment messages, you can just turn this off and the bot will just silently ban people or time out people. And then here we can go to blacklist and this is actually the place where you can add extra words. So if you see that there are some words that um, weren't that great and they're still going through with the automatically filter, you can, you can add them here. Bad word, uh, there is a word you can choose that you think is a bad word. And then here we can have the punishment, purge, timeout or ban. So purge is just saying, don't do that again. Timeout is don't do that again, but you gotta have to be silent for a couple of minutes. And ban is don't do that again and never show up here again. You, you fool. So you can set the punishment you want for this word. And then we can say this word contains a regular expression if it's being used in different ways as well. And then we can save. And now this word, bad word, <laughs> if somebody says that, the bot now will say, don't say that again. Because we said it just on porch. Uh, just because if somebody accidentally does this now and I forget to turn this off, oof, if I get it on ban, then ooh, that wouldn't be good. So what we do now is we go all the way back by clicking on the back here. And then what we need to make sure of is that word protection here, we turn that on. So this is to the right and it's on. The other thing that needs to be on is the cloud ball itself. So this needs to be to the right. And we're gonna have to give it permission. So what we do is we go to our own chat, type slash mod stream labs, enter, and then it will work. It will either ban, time out, or purge people that use bad words in your chat. If you wanna learn more about Streamlabs, I got a whole playlist with things to learn about Streamlabs Cloudbot. So just hop into this playlist with me and I'll see you there.